Tonight, a family says Minneapolis police took DNA samples from their child without their consent. It's an allegation the city says it is taking very seriously. Members of the Unity in Community Mediation Team first shared their concerns with police. They say a teenager was stopped, taken into juvenile detention, and then swabbed for DNA. WCCO's Rich Chapman shares what's being done to address the controversy. Tough questions from a community living with trust issues when it comes to policing. How many times have our juveniles DNA has been taken without a pen consent, without a warrant, or without a conviction? A family member tells WCCO reports of gunfire at Phelps Park led to the teen and two others to be detained. He was not charged with a crime, but his DNA was taken without parental consent. And now members of the Unity and Community Mediation Team and this Young People's Task Force want answers. Who has been complicit in this process? Is that the county? Is that the city? Is that some of these programs that some of our young people are going to that we are thinking protecting our young folks? Are y'all allowing for our young people um, to get their DNA taken without a parent consent or a warrant? Once we heard of these concerns, we got on it right away. MPD says it immediately began talking to attorneys. Both MPD and UCMT says its relationship is vital in repairing community police relations. For more than 20 years, they've worked together to address concerns of biased policing in communities of color. I would believe there is more just because of the openness of this one. Um, they, they, they seem as though they thought it was not a problem. And once we were able to see the state statute, we seen that it was a problem. So yes, I would definitely believe it's more. I can tell you that at this point, we certainly don't believe any laws are broken. The bigger thing I can tell you is that we're appreciative that these concerns were brought to us from the community. Rich Chapman, WCCL, four names. The teenager's family and members of the community mediation team will hold a press conference tomorrow morning to share more details about what happened. WCCL will be there.